What were you doing? Nothing. Okay. Did you want something? No, I just... Okay, um... I'll just... Yeah. Yeah. You just, uh... Yeah, I'll that, that, yeah. Mm. It's a bit of feeling we know about good bikini that you were for the first time that day. This week on your Fabu News. From poo to super strength, a surprising new use for cow pats. The accident that changed the world. Fun facts, positivity, and puppet pandemonium. Got your snacks? Then let's start the show! Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, Fabu crew, and welcome to your Fabu news. I'm Al. And I'm Ty. And this is the new show that gives you the good stuff. Positive news stories, crafts, fun facts, and more. What are we starting with this week, Kai? Cow poo. Same to you. <laughs> no, no. What things do you think you can make from it? A mess? What do you think, Fabu Crew? What can you make from cow poo? It turns out you can make something amazing. The strongest material known to mankind. A new process has been invented that turns the methane gas produced by manure and landfilled waste into graphene, a super material that can do some amazing things. You can't even see it, because it's only one atom thick. But it can carry electricity better than copper wire and bend without breaking. Add it to batteries and they work better. Add it to tires and they last longer. Add it to solar panels and they work harder. Some people call it a miracle material. A company called Levidian from Cambridge in England figured out that if you blasted methane with microwaves, just like the ones you find in your microwave oven at home, it split into graphene and hydrogen gas. It's a far cheaper and easier way to make the stuff than we've ever had before. What's more, waste methane is really bad for the climate. So, any way of turning it into something better is great news. Graphene. What a load of... Ow! Cow poo. I, I was going to say cow poo. Did you know we don't just find methane in cow poo? Sometimes they burp the stuff out, and so do you. Not much, but a little. And some of it comes out the other end. And this happens because down in your gut, there isn't very much air. And the bacteria that live down there, and chomping away at your food, create what's called fermentation. And this fermentation produces methane gas. And that methane gas, has to go somewhere. And those bacteria don't just produce methane. If you eat a food that's got lots of sulfur in it, something like baked beans, those bacteria will chomp away and create 
hydrogen sulfide. And that hydrogen sulfide is why sometimes your farts smell like rotten eggs. Yeah. Okay, moms and dads, we're harping on about poo, we know. But hey, it's fascinating stuff and surprisingly valuable. Which animal produces the most expensive poo? Do you know? Is it A. Humans B. Sperm whales C. Elephants or D. The Mexican free-tailed bat Write down your guess now and see if you are right later in the show. While you're thinking about it, there are a couple of buttons to click down there. One to like this video and the other to subscribe to the channel. We'd love you to do both. Once you're done with this video, you can also find lots of games, extras, and tidbits over at fabunews.com. You can find the link in the description along with other ways to support the channel. But for now, Back to the show. It's time to explore some more Fabu news through history. And this week, it's all about an accident. Ah, oh, like the time you forgot about the toilet lid. Kai, you said you'd never mention that. Come on, who's gonna know? Oh. Right. <sighs> this accident happened way back in 1895 in Würzburg, Germany. A scientist called Wilhelm Röntgen began a simple set of experiments with cathode ray tubes, a kind of strange light bulb that can make certain materials glow. To see these objects glowing, he needed the room to be really dark, so he covered the cathode ray tube with cardboard, leaving a little hole at the end to fire the cathode rays out of. I love it when you talk science. <laughs> one night, he turned around and saw that one of the objects used in his experiments had begun glowing even though it wasn't in front of the window. He knew that cathode rays couldn't pass through cardboard, so this new, totally invisible light had to be something else. He locked himself away to study this new type of light, spending weeks in the dark. And then a second accident changed the world. Hey, put Custard in front of it. Uh, no. No, he didn't. He used his hand to hold up one of the objects he was testing, holding it between the tube and the screen he was using for his experiments. What he saw shocked him. He saw his own skeleton caught as a shadow on the glowing screen. Professor Wilkin had accidentally discovered X-rays. Have you ever had an X-ray picture taken, Fabu Crew? X-rays are a special light that passes through the fleshy bits of your body but can't pass through your bones. They allow doctors to take a photograph of the bones inside your body. It's really cool stuff. Soon after Rogan published his work, everyone and their moms began playing with x-rays, including toy manufacturers and photographers. Unfortunately, it was a while before they figured out that Firing x-rays at people for hours on end is actually quite dangerous. <laughs> we don't do that anymore. We just take really, really quick snapshots. One day, it'll be a story about custard. What's 
did you like about Greece? Oh. Three times I've been. No, four times I've been. Four times you've been to Greece. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Just like, is this your grandma's house in Greece? Has it got paint on the walls, on the outside of the walls? Do I hear that? Thing? Well, um, no, there's only white color. Brown. You okay there, sis? Hmm? Oh, it's just I've got fur. <laughs> Nothing gets past you. <laughs> but Mum's not got fur. Oh, Dad. These toys don't. Nobody else has except for you. Well, what do you say? Why are we different? You say that like it's a bad thing. Everyone's different, Kai. On the outside, on the inside. Mom's not like Dad, is she? No, she doesn't have a beard. And you're not like me. You say different, I say unique. And that's the beauty of the world. Everyone's got their own stories to tell, their own lives to lead. Imagine how boring it'd be if everyone was just the same. <laughs> like the, those toys you got there. Are you saying I'm unique? Everyone's unique, Kai. And everyone should be proud of who they are. Earlier, I asked you which animal produces the most expensive poo. The answer is B, the sperm whale. Sperm whale poo and vomit contain something called ambergris, a waxy, chunky goop made of bits of undigested squid. Which doesn't sound all that valuable, does it? <laughs> but ambergris can be more valuable than gold. Ambergris is an ingredient in many high-class perfumes, as well as some medicines. It's got a musky sandalwood-like scent that adds depth and complexity to perfumes, making it highly sought after. But it's also really rare. Much of the time after the whale has pooed it out, this ambergris floats around on the surface of the sea, occasionally washing up on beaches. And that's usually the only way we can get hold of it. A 127 kilo blob of the stuff was discovered in 2021 and sold for over one million dollars. Wow, that's an expensive pool. <laughs>
you see what that says? Leisure moorings. Huh. What are these cool insects? Do you know? Yeah, that's right. They're ladybirds. Otherwise known as ladybugs. These are blackberries, and they grow here in England. Right now, they're not black, but they will be when it hits the fall, or as they call it over here, the autumn. This week's final story is Fabu News for our climate. In September 2024, the UK became the first country in the world to wean itself completely off of coal-powered electricity. The UK was the first country on the planet to start burning coal to make electricity way back in 1882 and we've been burning the stuff to keep our lights on ever since. But in June 2024, the last remaining coal-based power station in the UK, Radcliffe on Soar, received its last ever delivery of fuel. And on the 30th of September, it finally ran out of juice, bringing an end to 142 years of coal-based electricity. Coal is the dirtiest way to make power, with the highest output of planet-warming greenhouse gases. It also sends mercury and toxic soot into the air. The UK took only 14 years to take coal from 40% of our electricity to none at all, as cheaper and cleaner renewable energy began taking over. More than half of UK power came from wind, solar and nuclear power systems last year, squeezing coal from the grid forever. This change is important because it shows that it can be done and provides a blueprint for other countries to follow. Because if the UK can do it, so can other nations. Thank you for joining us for this week's Fabu News. It's been great seeing you. We'd love you to join us next week when we'll be looking at even more positive news stories from across the globe. Just search for Fabu News. That's F-A-B-O-O. -O. Be sure to like, subscribe and share the show with others and find us on all our socials to keep building the Fabu News family. You are our Fabu crew. Until next week, stay kind, stay positive, and keep being your Fabu you.